I'm Annika and today we're talking red wolves. Animal Watch. Now one of the wolves I've been desperate to do a vlog on for ages is the red wolf. Three reasons why. One, well they're so incredibly beautiful with their beautiful beautiful red coat. Number two, the genetics and the controversy surrounding these wolves. And three, because they're so terribly endangered. Now the red wolf is much smaller than the classic wolf and sits halfway between a coyote and a grey wolf at around 50 to 85 pounds. The red wolf has an unusual sound which sits firmly between the sound of a coyote and a wolf. Take a listen to this red wolf at the Wolf Conservation Centre. <coughs> Now here's a clip of a coyote. And finally the sound of a grey wolf. Other names the red wolf has include the Florida or Mississippi Valley Wolf due to the location from where it originated from. The originally recognised red wolf range extended throughout the southeastern United States from the Atlantic and Gulf coasts north to the Ohio River Valley and central Pennsylvania and west to central Texas and southeastern Missouri. When European colonists first arrived in America, the red wolf was absolutely thriving. It was all over the south just above Florida and it spread up all the way up the East Coast and there were absolutely thousands of these wolves but unfortunately they were driven to near extinction in the 1900s due to some very hard predator control, habitat loss due to the new people that had arrived and also through hybridization with coyotes. The red wolf is considered critically endangered and is now protected in the USA However, this has not stopped the killing of these wolves, resulting in emergency measures to move some into captive breeding in the 1960s, where 14 individuals were selected for captive breeding in order to restock wild populations. These 14 individuals were chosen from over 400 red wolves as after extensive testing, including measurement taking, vocalisation analysis and skull x-rays, only 43 were believed to be pure red wolves and sent to the breeding facility. Of these 43, the numbers were cut down further after puppies were again tested and deemed to contain coyote genes, leaving just 14. In 2012, the wild population rose well over 100 and it was amazing. But back in 2015, the population had dropped back down again to between 50 to 75 individuals in the wild. In order to restock the wild populations, breeders in zoos are taking cubs when they are very, very young and reintroducing them into wild populations. To do that, they find dens with babies around the same age as the ones that have been born in captivity. And then you have conservationists will sneak in there and try and slip the puppies in without the mother wolf knowing. By restocking the wild population, we're increasing the genetic diversity as there really are so few left in the wild. This is so important to do this. ...by the sterilisation of coyotes in the red wolf areas. If you look at their faces, they are very different to a classic grey wolf. Definitely more coyote looking, but not exactly like a coyote. They have rather long slender limbs and have been compared frequently to the eastern wolf. Their ears are proportionally larger than the coyote's or grey wolf in relation to its small skull. Sadly, red wolves are struggling due to the fact that they look so close to the coyote. This means that hunters are often mistakenly shooting the red wolves instead of coyotes. In order to try and protect the red wolves, 
conservationists are trying to make it illegal for the hunters to hunt in the same area that red wolves are. Let's hope that will work. The fight goes on to save the red wolf, but I'm sure with education we can stop this incredibly beautiful breed from ever becoming part of our history books. Please, please share this video. Let everybody know all the facts about red wolves so people learn to love these animals and protect them for future generations. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be sure to tune in every week well, I'll be bringing you some exciting wildlife films on dogs, wolves, wolf dogs, snakes, all sorts of wild creatures, and of course, animal rescue. Bye for now. Thank you to the Wolf Conservation Centre for their amazing red wolf footage. They are a not-for-profit environmental education organisation located in South Salem, New York, that teaches people about wolves, their relationship to the environment and the human role in protecting their future. Please stop by their website here to see how you can visit and support their wolves.